Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Feature Friday. Today we're going to be doing a comparison video. Mainly what we're going to be focusing on is doing a light comparison between your leather gloves and your synthetic gloves. We're going to be kind of breaking down some material and construction, protection and performance, comfort and fit, as well as maintenance and durability. So first topic we're going to cover is the material and construction. So leather gloves are commonly made of cowhide, goat skin, pig skin, or deer skin. These that I have right here, for example, are gonna be cowhide. Now, leather gloves typically have excellent durability, some good abrasion resistance. They can be reinforced, different kind of stitching and padding, and they can be suitable for a decent amount of different kind of heavy duty tasks. Now, synthetic gloves on the other side of it, often essentially made of a synthetic yarn or fiber like nylon, polyester, or Kevlar and different variations. They'll feature some different coatings. So you'll have your nitrile, your latex, microfoam nitriles, PVC, polyurethane. These, for example, that I have here, this is gonna be foam nitrile. So it does give you kind of a nice grip. Of course, the build is really lightweight on these and that's kind of one of the nice benefits of it. Now, of course, as you'll see, the lining on these ones are very lightweight. These are really thin, really flexible. They can really mold to your hand. So that's kind of what makes these really ideal is the conformity, the nice fit directly on the hand almost like that second skin feel. Now, when it comes to protection and performance, that's kind of where we can get into the weeds of it a little bit. The durability when it comes to leather itself is gonna be such that it can endure a certain level of abrasion, a little bit of cut, and you know, puncture, we're talking more on the blunt side of things. Now, naturally, again, leather also has some decent heat resistance, and it can be less prone to that melting or burning, but there's a big asterisk we gotta put there because it really depends on what it is you're doing with the product. If you're gonna be welding with it, you're gonna be looking more for welders with some specific stitching, lining and everything, you know, to give you the, that additional protection. So we do have to be mindful of all that. Now, when it comes to synthetic gloves, the grip, the dexterity, tactile sensitivity, that can depend too on, you know, the fabric and the yarn made. So I've got an example like these ones here that are very lightweight, very flexible, very thin gauge. And that's kind of where it's gonna, you know, have that second skin feel, or you can go to something a bit more heavy duty. These ones here, for example, you know, higher cut rating, got yourself a cut A5 on these. You got a thicker gauge on the liner in general. So these are, you know, still dexterous and still comfortable and flexible to some degree, but just not quite as thin as the next pair here. Now, depending on the coating and the grips, which is a topic of its own, suitable for handling slippery objects or working in, you know, some greasy environments, depending on the coating. And that's kind of where it's really, in, you get like a wide range of option when you're exploring the synthetic glove market in terms of what you can find based on your application. Now, comfort and fit. Leather gloves are generally going to require a bit of a break-in period to at least get them to a nice comfortable fit. Now, breathability, not huge on leather, but they are naturally breathable to some degree. The one downside with the overall fit that you may get on leather gloves is that when exposed to a fair bit of that kind of wet environment or cold ice, all that kind of thing, exposure to the environments can cause leather gloves, especially once they dry off to get really stiff and the quality of the leather will start to kind of degrade. Now, as we mentioned earlier with the synthetic gloves, as far as the, you know, the overall fit and feel, the way that they're made, especially if you get a pair that has that nice thin gauge, it's gonna be giving you a nice, snug, and comfortable fit right out of the packaging, especially when you go for something a little higher quality. They often have the elastic cuffs that you can see here. Even when these get drenched or soaked, they'll still remain nice and flexible, supple, comfortable. That part won't really affect anything. And then of course, get that 360 breathability, lightweight, it's breathable, and just honestly suitable for long use and you know, very dexterous and there's no issue there. And you don't really have that same kind of risk of the hand fatigue. Now maintenance and long-term durability on the two different products. When you're looking at your leathers to get the most out of your leather products, a bit of maintenance is kind of required. Some cleaning, some conditioning to prevent the drying and the cracking, especially if they get exposed to kind of that more wet environment. Again, not super common in the industrial environments. We know that these can get really beat up. Overall, again, depending on the care and maintenance and the overall usage application, your leather gloves you may find will endure and last a fair bit of time, even more so than synthetics, just again, depending on that application. Now, as for the the synthetic gloves, these are definitely favorable for low maintenance. To some regards, I mean, all these gloves, once they get compromised, in theory, are disposable in their own way. But, you know, when it comes to the synthetics, like we mentioned, right out of the box, 
typically quite comfortable, ready to go. They can be easy to clean in some case, they're machine washable, or you know, you can just use some mild soap and water and just kind of quickly hand wash them as needed. Resistance to chemical and moisture will depend on what kind of coatings you have. There's a lot of different variety of synthetic gloves in the market, and we do definitely sell some that have that full kind of three quarter or full dips or anything like that. So depending on what you need, there are varying options for, you know, additional levels of resistance. And generally speaking, like anything, I mean, if you get any kind of, especially a general purpose synthetic glove like this, if they get exposed to too many solvents or some high abrasion or kind of cut surfaces, they can start to kind of degrade. So to quickly summarize, between the two, it all really comes down to a certain level of preference and convenience to what you like. Again, one of the major things that I would emphasize when you're really looking at the two, I mean, you can even tell just from the format of the two gloves, one is really gonna offer you more dexterity and kind of that nice second skin feel. The leather gloves are gonna be a bit more bulky on the other hand, however, durable and rugged. So if you don't need that high dexterity interaction with the products you're working with, then by all means, they can always be kind of a good option. Overall, we do find that the synthetic market is gonna be one where if you're really looking for kind of niche needs to be met, there's a pretty high chance that this is a synthetic glove that's been custom tailor made. And so we always kind of highly recommend that people reach out and explore kind of what they need and we can kind of help from there. Now, that's pretty much the video for you guys today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or you know send us an email. If you're in the market and you're trying to evaluate the best glove for your application, there's a lot of different topics that can be covered on that side of things. We also do have a glove audit service that we can offer. So if you happen to be interested in doing a glove audit and you're in one of our local markets, Markets, feel free to reach out to your local branch and we'd be happy to give you a hand with doing some of that. All right, well, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Have yourselves a great weekend and we'll see you next time. Cheers.